Good morning and welcome to Velvet Hammer Fitness. Today's workout is about determination, especially if you're someone who does not like to train abs. You know who you are. <laughs> I'm included in that. That's why I can be a little bit uh, stinky about saying so. But we all, both you and I know, who of us do not like to train abs very much. Um, but what doesn't challenge us will not change us. So today, in honor of the spirit of determination and going for things and always trying to get better, we have done a workout for Anna, our subscriber and friend, who never gives up. Now Anna frequently films herself doing different moves from different workouts on YouTube and I'm honored to say that every week I get to watch her do um, some moves from ours. So what I admire most about Anna is just that, her determination. She is willing to try anything and she is always wanting to get better. She never settles for just doing the move. She's always looking at the move. She reviews what she films and she thinks about how she can get better. Because I don't know about you, but I'm not a person who is 100% perfect at things the first time I try them. And sometimes I find myself getting discouraged. But when I look at Anna and I see her filming things and finding ways to get better all the time and not getting discouraged if she is not on the top of her game for every move, it really inspires me. So today is all about determination and it's about appreciating where you are, but knowing that you don't have to stay there and getting better. So with that in mind, we have an ab workout with a little bit of strength actually a lot of strength and a little bit of cardio. So we've mashed up some things that sometimes cause us to have to be determined. I'm going to look here at the lineup to show you all how this is going to go. Um, but what we have first in this workout is a little ab warmer, which should be fun. 35 intervals. We're going to repeat it one time. So 30 seconds on, 5 seconds off, not 35 intervals. Um, then we've got a strength and cardio abs section. It is 45-15. I think we're going through that two times. Uh, then we are going into an encore, pun intended, um, which will be 50-10 intervals. I think we're going to go through that two times as well. Uh, we will go right into an abs Tabata section, just one Tabata pair there. And then we're going to go into two rep sections. So um, there are some strength reps with some ab moves in there. Um, we're going to do 10 reps of each of those moves. Then we are going to go into a twisted ab pyramid, which is just what it sounds like. Awesome. Anyway, we're going to go 20 reps, 10 reps, and then 5 reps. So it's going to be a descending pyramid. Um, the reason that I am actually filming this intro the night before the workout is that I am attempting to film this outside tomorrow. So Anna loves the outdoors, and she is frequently posting beautiful pictures of nature on Instagram, places she's visited. So I thought in honor of her, her determination and her love for ab work and strength, we would try to knock out this workout outside. And I'm just hoping I won't get any ticks as I'm rolling around in the grass. So anyway, if you guys want to take me outside and do this workout or write down the moves and get your timer set up and do it outside, I encourage you very much to do so because we are in a beautiful season at least where I am so anyway what you'll need for this workout is your light medium and heavy weights we're gonna have kind of a wide range of full body moves um, you will need your water exercise mat and maybe your sunglasses if you're joining me outside so I'm excited to get this going with you all in the morning and hopefully we'll be able to knock this one out outside see you then all right, guys, I'm out in this beautiful wonder of God's creation today, and we are doing our ab workout with some strength moves for Anna. So let's get started with that warm up. Start my timer here. You might hear some goats in the background. No worries, let's start with some butt kicker. Make sure you drive those heels to your rear end there. So you might hear some ghosts, you might hear some weed eaters, you might even hear my little guy. He's playing with his grandfather back behind the camera there. So. What a beautiful day to be outside. Such a blessing. All right. 
Now we're going to do some low impact jugglers to warm up our abs here. Our warm up's a little bit shorter today because we're doing a core warmer next. Now let's take these up if you're able. Can hear my water sloshing already. Start wondering what I'm doing here. Whew. One more. Awesome. All right, let's finish up with, well, not finish up, but let's do some mountain climbers. Come around to the side here. You can see me. Make sure you keep that core tight. back knee up. We're going to alternate. You can add a hop. I was afraid it was going to rain on us, guys, because it got really cloudy <laughs> as I was getting everything set up. Hopefully it'll hold off and the ghost won't be too loud. And one more. Now we're just going to shake it out. I'm gonna have to move my iPad here with the timer. <laughs> my goat is starting to eat it, so don't do that. You're stinky. All right, so we're going into that core warmer now. Let's make sure we're still recording. All right, hey guys. <laughs> um, so 30 seconds on, five seconds rest. We're gonna do it one time. We're gonna start off with some bird dogs on our knees. But instead of pulling up here, I want you to think about lengthening as you tuck. So really pull with your glutes there. Tuck in, keep your core tight, and let's go. No more eating my iPad. <laughs> All right, off we go. Knee bird dog, so that just means we're on our knees doing them. Tuck. And like somebody is pulling out on your leg and arm, not up. You engage your glutes and your abs. Just warming up that core. That's why our first warm up wasn't as long. Got a little cardio in there. Some ab warming moves. Awesome. Next, we're going into a side plank dip and knee tuck. Left hip over right here. 30 seconds. Keep your T arm here. You're not going to be able to see my timer as well today. So we'll just have to do our best. Hang on. And whether we know what time it is or not, just keep going. Awesome. Okay. Next, we are getting into a commando plank. So you can do this from your knees, if you're just warming up, or from your toes. We're alternating arms. I always go, oh, I messed myself up. I always try to go back down with the last hand that came up. Tight core. Use your glutes too on this. All right, side plank knee dip. 
and tuck. <laughs> hip dip and tuck. <sighs> Good. Should we adjust it here? One side will be harder. <sighs> the goats are so mad that I wouldn't let them eat my iPad. <sighs> They're going to have to get over it. <sighs> if I have enough battery at the end of this, I'll show you guys my goats. Whew. Awesome job. Okay, now we're just gonna get a pretty heavy weight. We're gonna do some teapots. Like I'm a little teapot. We're gonna just reach down, bend as far as you can. Targeting our obliques here. Try to pull up with your abs. Hope I'm not crooked on here. Other side. Whew. I'm a little teapot. I will save you, spare you from my singing about the little teapot. Nice and humid today, but at least it's not super radiantly hot. That's my barn behind me. It's about 200 years old. It has a cistern that the lady who pretty much built this house kind of fashioned so she could have some indoor plumbing. Super smart. Super smart. All right. So in 10 seconds, we're going into our strength and cardio abs, 45, 15, two times. We're doing some pendulum. Dumbbell rows. So you're on top of your dumbbell. You row it. Other side. Row. You can go fast. You have a lighter weight. Squeeze your back. A lot of these moves I have sought inspiration for. Some are some moves I've seen Alexia Clark do. She's amazing super functional moves. So you don't want strength in just one plane of motion. You don't pick up things in one plane of motion. You use your body in different angles. Whew, three five burpees are next. These were inspired by Cat Moves Knee. Love this move. All right, we're keeping our legs straight. Whew. All right, here we go. Ready. Keep your legs straight as you hop them up three times. You can add a push up if you want. I'm going to get weights in the face if I do that. Jump high. Dumbbells. Rest. Get ready. Okay, so we're going to jump. And back. Four tight. I'm doing a tricep push up here.
More like moments like these. I'm glad you can't see the clock. Awesome job, guys. Ooh. Ooh. And, uh, oh, yeah. Oh, I'm just guessing there that it was over. <laughs> so that was awesome. All right, I'm glad I was right. Okay, goblet squat, pivot press. Okay. Ooh. So taking our Weight in the center. Pivot. Press. Have to be careful. Because my heel is a little uneven here. Whew. Oh, yeah. Beautiful day. You guys, if you ever get a chance to be in the beauty of God's creation, it'll work me out. That's a blessing. Woo! Almost got it. Okay. I'm tired today, but feeling awesome because of this opportunity. And to be able to share it with you guys is even better. Okay. Double knee tuck. Oh, how are you guys doing? Now, for this one. You can either kick up here or you can really tuck it. You can also um, just tuck your knees here. So you can kick your rear in, kick your something else, <laughs> or you can just switch. Slipping. Okay, back to the beginning. Ooh. Move my weights here so I can dumbbell row it out here. <sighs> Grab those dumbbells. Now, you can also come here, jump. And I like the range of motion I get here. A good stretch. Love this move. Ooh. Ooh. I did this with my boot campers and they loved it. Ooh. If you are lucky enough to have a great group of friends, if you're lucky enough. Ooh. And I have this guy plus an awesome family. Oh yeah. Ooh. All right, we are down to those three pike blessings. Read it out. All right, hopefully this will go better than last time. Pop it in, pop it up. Any jump you want. Woo.
core. And ankle stability. Ah. Oh yeah. A tough move. Awesome. Okay. I have to do that another time at the end. Because I forgot. Sorry guys. So excited to be outside with you. I remember this time we're doing three. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Kick that. Sole the feet at me. short arms. It helps. Last and ten. As long as your pace is consistent, you're good. Oh, goblet squat, pivot press. Thank goodness. For the 15 second rest. All right, slide it out. Press it up. Woo. Get off balance. Try again. You can add a press in the front. Woo. Whoa. Forgot what I was doing. yourself right in the chest. All right. Whew. Don't let me tuck. Now, lots of ways to do this. Okay? No big deal. Whatever way you choose. Ooh, I'm going to need my towel for that. Go ahead and bat me down. Okay. Again, you can come here. You can that way. Oh. Oh. Can't tell where we are. Keep going. Oh yeah. Oh, a beautiful dragonfly is over here. Oh. Again, you can tuck. Okay. Ooh, that was so nice. Dragonfly, that is. All right, one more time. It does Ooh, switch foot, curl and press. Press is switch foot, balance. Oh, yeah. You can also, instead of trying to balance, put that other foot up. Awesome work, guys. You got it. Woo! Wow, the grab.
ground is so different. In the inside. Floor. Woo. Good. Fast. Woo. I'm falling all over the place. You might be too. No big deal. Almost there. Awesome work. Okay. Woo. Gonna take a tiny break here. Tell you what we're doing next. Okay. So we're going into some 50-10 intervals. Our first move is gonna be a twisted mountain climber. No, sorry, that's the last one. The first thing is gonna be an alternating back lunge plus a bent arm row. I'm not gonna use a lot of weight for this. That's a tough shoulder move. So grab a quick drink. We'll get set up here. And we'll be ready to start. I'm gonna try with tens, and if it's just not working, I'm gonna have my eighth available for me. A couple ways we can break this move down, so it's all good. All right. Already started here. Woo. All right. All right, you got 10 seconds. Kind of be looking for your weights. So you're going to step. Kind of got a curtsy action going on here. Helps me if I stop and then do the bent arm. Fly here. Then arm raises, I guess. You can stick to just a back lunge. Okay, so here. Okay, I kind of like the curtsy. Makes me dig a little deeper into those inner thighs and glutes. Oh yeah. Okay, awesome job guys. Now we're doing an ab move. We're gonna do the side knee dip plus a kick and a knee. So you can either be on your shoulder here, dip, knee, kick. You can be up on your hand, Knee, kick. Let's get it in and out. You can go back to just kicks, just knees, just dips. Woo. No idea what time it is. I might try to move my timer. Woo! Falling down. Okay. Doesn't really matter what order you do that in. Okay. This one's a little tougher to wrap your mind around. Okay. So, side lunge, wide row, scarecrow, up, wide row, whoa, scarecrow. Now you can also wide row, scarecrow, row again. I like that. Get some extra reps. Wide row also helps you get that balance. Woo! Oh yeah. Sorry, you're supposed to start that scarecrow up here. <laughs> Not when you go back down. So, my mistake, we got one whole other round to fix that problem there. Okay, side plank knee, kick, other side. Oh yeah. So again, come here, knee, kick, knee, kick. You can touch your elbow to that knee. 
four, come up, knee, kick, knee, kick, kick. Whew. Hardest thing for me here is remembering what to do. Even awesome, keep going, guys. Ah, nail your move here. Oh yeah. Oh. Ah, yuck. Man, I really, really failed on that one. All right, now we're going into a deadlift into a jump squat. So. You can extend up before you jump back in. Whew. You can then jump back in. A lot of options with this move. Ah. Oh yeah. Okay. Whew. Okay. Flutter twist. Okay. Just like it sounds. You're gonna be fluttering your feet. If that's where you want to stay. If not. Bicycle here. It's hard for me to get this coordinated. You can even go here or just flutter. Whew. I might bicycle it out. Maybe we'll add more flutters, some crosses. Do what you want. <laughs> okay, especially if there's a move that just confuses you and renders you kind of motionless, then absolutely make it your own. All right, pendulum shoulder press. We're coming here, press it. So, one arm is always getting shoulder press. You're getting some chest work here. This is one I saw Alexia Clark do. Let's see what time it is. You don't want to know. Ah, just kidding. Probably about less than 10 now. Try to step that leg back. Okay. Using a real lightweight there, just 10 pounds for that. No big deal. Okay, we are back to that beginner. Move those curtsies. You can bring the arm up here if that's good for you. For me, I'm gonna plant the foot just because my balance is real bad out here today. Plus, I didn't get too good sleep last night. I ended up two of my three kids in bed. They had bad dreams. Whew. And I had no dreams. Because <laughs> if you know, if you've ever been in bed with a child, you know you don't sleep too much. Whew. Oh yeah. Squeeze it up there. Awesome work, guys. Awesome work. Oh, well, I beat the rain. Okay, side blank, knee kick, left. Whew. The buzzards are circling. I wonder if I died and just didn't know it. Okay, up. You can do it like that. 
this is so hard on the shoulders. So if you need to pop up the hand, take out the dip if you need to, add it back in. Woo! I'm gonna smell like poop. The flies are buzzing. Woo. Wow. Oh yeah. I'm glad that was a timer because I was giving up. <laughs> okay. Wide row. Stand up. Again, a difficult move. So get it set up. Get your balance. Row it. Okay. I think I added two rows that time. Woo! All right. Get your reps in. Woo! Doesn't have to be heavy to be effective on this move. Oh yeah. All right. Done. Awesome. Okay. Where are we going next? Side plank, knee and kick. Oh. Last time for this one, guys. Promise. I'll make it. Woo. Okay. All right. Pop it up. Dip. Knee. Kick. Pop it up. Knee, kick. If you find your arms too far out, readjust. I'm forgetting dips all over the place. They come up to my arm. Maybe this will get me back on track. I'm used to doing them this way. Really? Tighten everything. Woo. You can also woo, take at the top like a glute raise. Woo. All right. So glad that's over. Okay. Deadlift jump. Squat into curl. Okay. All right. Don't have to have a heavy weight for these. And two jumps in. Really pay attention to whew, what your back is doing. Whoops. Some work. Oh, no, thank you. Okay. Flutter twist or just flutters. All right. Ah. Maybe we flutter when we bicycle now. Like that. One, two, three, four. Hold. One, two, three, four. Hold. One, two, three, four, 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 hold. And one, two, three, four, flutter it out. Um, beautiful day. No matter what you're doing, awesome. So if the move doesn't work for you, make it your own. I just did, and it was my own move. So whew, do what you can. If it keeps you from moving, modify. Okay, hands up front. Back to the middle, out. I don't know 
how I'm doing on this one because I can't see myself. It's a new move for me. I really like it. And don't worry if your form isn't perfect the first time. As you can see, I practiced it a couple times and still got some awkwardness. Less than 10. You guys are so awesome. So glad to get to share my home with you. Woo! In the beautiful outdoors. Woo! Okay. That is it for that part. Um, awesome work. All right. So our next group of exercises is Tabata. It's a Tabata pair. Let's make sure we're still going here. Awesome. Hey, guys. Um, all right, guys. My iPad got a little too hot out here. So we're going to do those rep moves while it's cooling down. And I'm going to check on it again, okay? So we're going to the end before we go to the Tabata pairs. I started on them, so now I'm totally gassed out and realized the timer was not beeping. So anyway, we are going straight to those rep moves. That is what's happening. First, we're doing pendulum rows, okay? Whew. And reps per arm. Let's go. This is from earlier in the workout. We're going to be really good at these, okay? One, two, three, four, five, really squeeze. Seven, eight, nine, ten, last one. Awesome. Great work. Always go to the knees there for the push-up. Pop up for the knee tuck. Wow. Wow. All right. Now we're going into a single arm snatch for 10. Now these I do a little differently. I like to make sure I kind of catch that weight on my shoulder before I go back down because, ooh, grasshopper, <laughs> because I don't like to Booger up my shoulder by making it one complete move on the way down. So I'll show you what I mean. So snatch it up using momentum. I slow it down on the way down, okay? As to not jerk my arm totally out of place, okay? All right, 10 on the left. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think I did an extra one. Oh well. Woo! Good for us. Extra rep. 
Great job. Okay. Now, lunge plus a press out. Do not have to use much weight for this bad boy at all. Okay? Grab one you're comfortable with. We're doing it on one side only, I do believe. Yep. Okay. So, step, push. One. Two. Three. Weight in the heel. Four. Don't worry how low you can go. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Great work. Whew. Make sure we're still on here. Oh yeah. Party time. Okay. We're down to single arm snatch on the right. Breathe it out. Right side for 10. And go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Keep that shoulder secure. Eight, scap a little forward. Nine. Ten. Awesome. All right. Last move in this group is whoo, a one leg lunge and press. Whew, ten reps. to the right. Okay. Push. Two. Keep your chest up. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Woo. All right, you're done with that. Woo. I'm gonna do a quick check on my iPad and we'll go into the Tabata Pairs. Guys, it is still not cooled off, so we're just gonna improvise. We're gonna use my phone. So, in 10 seconds, you have mountain get ups. So, we're bringing the weight to our chest, rolling back, touching the weight, standing up. Pressing up. Okay, 20 seconds, you're here. You don't have to take it all the way behind you. If you do, make sure you are not just throwing it back. Control. Awesome. All right, now, whew, one knee tuck, one flying leg. <laughs> You don't have to do a push up with this, but tuck the knee, fly to the other side. Step it up, fly. Step it up, fly. Ooh. I'm wishing my phone would get too hot so I could quit this. Woo! Good job, guys. All right. Ooh. Take this opportunity to move some weights around. I don't have any trouble here. All right, mountain get-ups. I was born in West Virginia, so I'm a mountain mama. So these mountain get-ups are right up my alley. You're not using momentum here like you would with a rollback burpee. You're being deliberate, you're squeezing, okay? Woo. All right, knee tuck, flying legs. Okay, tuck the knee, fly the leg. Woo! They're not 
not all gonna be pretty. Maybe none of them will be like mine are. Whew. Make sure y'all are still with me. You gotta see that red dot. Oh yeah. All right. Get going without me. Just wanna make sure we're all still together. are not a chore, even though they're work, or they shouldn't be. Whew. As you get tired, these are gonna become really hard. Oh, awesome work. Oh, let's beat the rain. All right. Alright. Oh yeah. Squeeze as you go up. Glutes. Back. You're working lats here. Woo. Yes. My allergies are gonna be in full swing after today. But I did not pass up this opportunity. Okay, tuck the knee, tuck, switch. Twisted ab pyramid. It's gonna be 20 reps, 10 reps, and five reps. So your first move is gonna be a twisted mountain climber. We know what that is. The next move is going to be a twisted pike jump. Okay? One equals one on that. Um, twisted mountain climbers will do two equals one. And then the last one will do one equals one, just cross under kicks. Okay? I'm not super fast with these, so you can go faster than me and do more in that time period. Go right ahead with my blessing. All right, let's go ahead and get this started with 20 reps, twisted mountain climbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Oh, awesome. Okay. Just the tight jumps. Okay. Whew. Walk those feet up. Dip. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Whew. Nine, ten. Oh my shoulders. One, two, three, four, Woo. five, six, seven. Please kill me. No, those were not pretty guys, sorry. Woo. All right. Take a second. Alternating cross under kicks. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, fifteen. Out of breath. <laughs> okay. All right. Take a quick drink. 
turn around the wind was blowing goat in my face <laughs> so whew. let's go oh wow this is tough okay ready one two three four So I just counted to 20. All right, five jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, that's a lot better than 20. You agree? Okay. And ten of these. Kick under. One, two. which will really be 10 Whew, on these twisted mountain climbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, okay, twisted pikes. One, two, three, we'll do six, we even. Four, five, six. Oh, oh. oh man, guys, okay. Ten of these, five each leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, nine, ten. I think that was supposed to be five or maybe six. Oh well, you got extra. Awesome. We are done for this entire workout, minus the cool down. So I am going to whew, get myself toweled off, check on the camera, and I'll meet you right back here for it. All right, guys. There you are. You earned this cool down. So let's get to it. Let's start off with just some bent rockers. Okay. I am going to set us up a little bit of a timer here. So we know. What we're doing here. Starting up. All right, let's start off with some bent rockers. Just going back and forth, not really twisting. All right, we're going to heel toe, heel toe in. We're gonna slowly roll up. Come down on your mat. And we are going to inchworm our arms out. You can circle them first if you want to. I'm gonna loosen them up. Woo. Inchworm it out. Hands beside the chest. We're gonna do a baby cobra. So come on your forearms, push through your hands, lengthen your neck. This should be a good ab stretch for you. Lower down, push back up. You can even walk the hands forward. For a bigger stretch. Okay, down again. Now we're going to take those hands right beside your chest, push up into a cobra, lengthen your spine, shoulders away from your ears, relax the glutes. A little bit of a lower back stretch here. Now we're going to look at our right foot. You may hear a snap, crackle, pop here. That spine long, come back front. Really breathe here, look at the other foot. Back to the front, come down. We're gonna push our hips back, put the soles of our feet together, 
lower our chest into a child's pose. You can take it further here if you need to. And you can lace those fingers in between your heels. And breathe. I'm just going to grab the toes of that right foot. Got a few bug bites today, but wow, was this worth it. <laughs> Hope you guys liked having a different background besides my, woo, yelped. I don't know what that was. Besides my uh, flowery wallpaper <laughs> that I did not pick out, by the way. All right, we're over here. I talked too long, so buzzer may go off before I'm ready to stretch. Rocking to this side. you all to do some yoga this week. Ouch! It's ants that I'm getting bitten by. Oh, that's not good. All right, now we're going to walk back into plank. I'm going to get off this thing before too many more critters bite me. All right, we're walking our hands to our feet. We are slowly rolling up. And you are done, guys. Awesome up here and see you at the camera for the send off all right guys you did an incredible job today I won't be long because I don't know how long I'm gonna be able to stay in the grass without getting bitten by something else and screaming ouch but I hope you guys had an awesome time with this workout I think you can see my goats back there now um, <laughs> and I hope this just was a wonderful workout for you I hope you got to enjoy the nature behind us and you got the strength with abs that workout that you were wanting so for the rest of you i hope that this was a challenge for you and i hope that wherever you are today you can find a way to be thankful a way to press on and be determined and have a great attitude because i think those are where our real changes in any part of our life come in is is our attitude not necessarily our situation but how we see it so uh, remember that today go drink some water 
get a healthy post-workout meal, 30 to 90 meals, 30 to 90 meals, 30 to 90 minutes after this workout is completed and um, make sure you stretch it out some more if you need to. Be kind to yourself today, be kind to somebody else and just have an awesome day guys. So whether you are strong and determined or whether you are determined to be strong, it is your health today and every day. So you better hit it hard, all right? I'm doing the hammer for my knees here. I hope I don't fall over. <laughs> here it comes. Boom. Have an awesome day, guys, an awesome week, and I will see you next time.